happening here at home. Almond growers and distributors are finding themselves stuck with a surplus of almonds that has already been sold but not paid for. The nuts can't be shipped because of continued disruptions in the supply chain. 17's Christian Galeno has more now from McFarland. Yeah, well, August is usually when local almond growers begin to export their products worldwide, but delays and logistical issues at ports are causing major delays with last year's product. So many of these local almond growers are now racing against the clock as their cash flow begins to slow. The world goes nuts for nuts grown in Kern County. So it's this amazing, intimate little community that has this unbelievable global footprint producing uh, a stable plant-based protein that, quite honestly, the world wants and wants more of. Aubrey Betancourt spearheads advocacy for the 7,600 mostly family-owned almond farms in California. It's causing a massive cash flow crisis, and it's causing a significant uh, crisis in terms of the, the trade leverage of the United States and the American farmer. Every week there's canceled bookings. Chad DeRose feels the pinch while figuring out ways to export sold product that patiently sits in their large warehouse. You had a booking on the vessel and originally it was on a particular date and they got rolled to a later date uh, or it got canceled altogether. With no American shipping companies in existence, why is one of the largest economic superpowers having such a hard time finding boats to export American products? Because of boats coming in from Asia and taking empties and going right back because Empty containers are really valuable for the amount of demand for imported product. Not being able to get product to the customer when they need the product, uh, you do have some lost consumption. Growers are stuck with having to mix or carry in last season's product. This past season, the industry carried in 600 million pounds, and it's looking like it will be somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 million pounds. The ongoing battle is going into its third year, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. You would think that we would modernize our infrastructure or adjust in some way, but it never did that. You're not getting paid until the product you know, reaches its destination. And local nut growers in South Kern County say the proximity to the Port of Los Angeles benefits them greatly. Whenever there is an opportunity to put product on a ship, they can get that product to the port fairly quickly versus other exporters and nut growers in Northern California who are being hit the hardest by these issues. In McFarland, Christian Galeno, 17 News.